So it's a new year and the new releases are already rolling out pretty quick. It feels so good to be back into doing these first impressions on brand new stuff. It's always kind of a, a fun way because you know I'm going into this really not knowing what to expect at all. Sometimes I'll take a look at the note breakdown, sometimes I won't, but that doesn't always mean anything. You could have a note breakdown that looks great and you end up with the fragrance that ends up not being great. So it's cool that I'm able to capture my real initial reactions and share them with you guys and maybe that'll help give you uh, uh, some inspiration on whether or not you want to check it out. Of course, this one is Gucci Guilty Parfum. So the newest one, um, this is a little bit pricey, $155 for this three ounce bottle size. It's kind of the direction these are going here. I mean, look at the newest Eros Parfum, that's like $140 for 100 mil. So uh, prices on some of this stuff is going up. Sauvage Elixir, $150, $160 for 60 mils. That's even more expensive price per mil wise here. Uh, so yeah, this hobby is definitely not getting any cheaper. So I'm gonna break into this one. I'm gonna tell you how it smells and what it reminds me of, if anything. And just off the bat here, if I think it's gonna be something that I think will be worth looking into. So here's the bottle. Looks very nice, very uh, reflective here. Uh, on pictures, it looks pretty much blacked out, uh, but really it does have this kind of uh, metallic shininess and uh, depending on how you look at it, almost a slight flakiness to it if you get it in the light. Uh, it does look very sleek, very sharp looking though, and definitely looks like a parfum bottle. You can see everything is pretty much color matched here, so the cap is uh, the same as the bottle, has that same reflective look to it. Um, this will be kind of a downside to some people because you can't really see the juice level. Uh, and that's something that you know people like to see. I mean, you could shine a phone flashlight through it and nothing. So you will never be able to see the level of this stuff. So if it's uh, one that's really good and you end up wearing it a lot, I guess you'll have to do the shake test. So let's go ahead and give this one a shot, spray it on skin, and we'll just see what we're getting ourselves into here. Uh, for 155 bucks, I'm hoping for something halfway decent, but we'll have to see. So it opens up kind of fruity, fresh, a little bit syrupy sweet. Uh, it, it opens up like a true parfum fragrance. Now this is something where after you've smelled a bunch of different things and a bunch of different concentrations, you can usually pick out kind of the richness and the heaviness of a, a higher concentrated scent. And even though this is primarily made up of fresher notes here up top, like a lemon fruitiness, kind of a freshness, it has this heaviness, this denseness, and that's coming from just the sheer amount of, of concentration within the scent. I actually like how it smells a good amount here. I wasn't expecting to dislike it. Now, what I will say right off the bat, and something that I do notice is it's not gonna be like a, a brand new, never before smelled type of DNA. It has more of a kind of a familiar smell to it. You know, this is not necessarily smelling like any one other thing aside from maybe some of the other Gucci Guilties, which we'll get to in a minute. But I'm talking about outside of the of this line here. It doesn't really smell like anything else. So we will go ahead and take a look at the note breakdown. We have juniper, lemon, lavender up top, orange blossom, nutmeg, Spanish, labdanum in the mid, patchouli, dry wood, and musk in the base. So among those notes, I do pick up on that lemon, like I mentioned, and a good amount of the lavender. So the lavender is giving off this kind of clean, fresh balance. The lemon is giving off this vibrant pop. Now the orange blossom is lending to a little bit of the kind of fruity, citrusy sweetness. Uh, there's a little bit of the labdanum starting to work its way in also adding to the sweetness. So I find that as it's sitting on my skin longer here, it is sweetening up and that fresh blast is starting to move towards the background. As it's drying down, I'm starting to pick up on some of the woods. So the, uh, the patchouli is not too strong. It's not too earthy. It's a relatively mild version of patchouli, something that's gonna be very easy to get along with. Now the woods in here are nice and mild and subdued. It's really just providing a nice masculine base for everything else going on. Along with those woods is a musk, 
just a nice general masculine musk, nothing crazy, nothing super unique, just a musky base kind of adding to that masculine touch. I do pick up on a little bit of the juniper that was more so in the opening kind of giving off that bright pop as it's settling down. It's still hanging around a little bit with some of the other woods and stuff, but it is kind of moving to the background. I find that the longer it sits on my skin, the more resinous and sweet it gets. And that's also in combination with this high concentration. So really, it, it's almost like a, a higher concentrated version of Gucci Guilty, essentially. If you really wanted to make it as easy as possible, they're essentially just releasing a parfum, beefing up every component of the scent, making it richer, making it stronger. It really, it kind of reminds me of what Versace did with their newest release, Eros Parfum. It still has that Eros DNA, but richer, stronger, and a little bit more intriguing, believe it or not. Yes, Eros intriguing, it's a real thing, at least for me. And I find the same thing to be here. Uh, I don't hate this scent. In fact, I think it's actually really enjoyable, very pleasant. And again, I just want to reiterate, not necessarily something that's a mind blower. But when you compare this to all of the other Gucci Guilties aside from Absolute, it does have more character. Uh, Absolute is one that is unlike anything else. This one is not to that level, but it's a step in that direction. And again, the longer it sits, the more I pick up on that labdanum. It's getting sweeter, it's getting more resinous, it's a tiny bit smoky, believe it or not, and it, it gets better as it dries down here. It, it's one where, uh, as I continue to test this one, it'll keep me hooked. There are some fragrances where maybe they get you in the opening, you're like, holy crap, this opens up and smells amazing, and you hit the dry down and you're bored of it, you're kind of forgetting about it. Uh, that's not the case with this one. You know, this is a fragrance where it's going to keep drawing me in for more. I'm excited to see how this one develops on my skin throughout uh, the duration of me wearing it this time, and I will continue to test it. Uh, this does have my attention here, and so I will do a full review in the future, and by then I'll have um, much more concise thoughts on this one. So performance I'm curious about. Uh, right off the bat, it's not seeming like the strongest projector. Uh, when I want to smell this one, I have to bring it up relatively close to my nose. Now that is just one spray. Uh, many other things can contribute to that as well. I would say a couple extra sprays, you'll get some distance, but again, going back to the concentration, a parfum, they will wear closer to the skin. That's just the nature of it. I'm hoping for good longevity though. So that's kind of it. That's my initial thoughts on Gucci Guilty Parfum Pour Homme so far. I, yeah, I have to admit, I actually like it. I think this smells good. I'm excited to continue wearing it and testing it over these next couple days. I think this is one that could be one of the, potentially one of the better Gucci Guilties. Again, I don't think it's going to top Absolute. That one's on a league of its own and also rumored to be discontinued. So who knows what's going on there? And if you want to pick one up, I will link it down below with 35% off so you can get it at a good price. I wouldn't sleep on that one. But I do think that this one will be a bit more appealing to the collector, but maybe still not fully. I will link this one down below also. I think it's available on pretty much all of your retailers now, so it is easy to get, at least here in the US. But again, you will have to pay up for it. 150 bucks, 150, 155 for three ounce. It's not cheap. Do I think it's worth that price? It's a little too soon to tell. Uh, discounters will knock it back a little bit, but all of the Gucci Guilty Pour Homes on discounters are still pushing $100, like mid upper 90s. So it's not gonna get discounted a too crazy amount here. Alrighty guys, if you've tried Pour Home Parfum by Gucci Guilty, let me know what you think down below. Do you like it, do you not? I think it's pretty nice, pretty pleasant. Nothing crazy, but nice. Remember, I will link it down below. I will also link Gucci Guilty Absolute. If the rumors are true, which it wouldn't surprise me, guys, you gotta jump on it. It is an amazing fragrance. I'm gonna pick up a backup bottle or two for myself, and I encourage you to do the same before it sells out and gets very expensive. Alrighty, that's gonna do it for me. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy, and we'll see you tomorrow with another one. Take care.